second level of bill of material that is practically more commonly used so that is indented bill of material indented the indented bill of material uh, presents a numerical list of the sub assemblies and components indented from the uh, left indicating their relationship to the parent so indentation is from the left so like in microsoft word you you have a page something like this and you start typing the first sentence from here and then second here third here so you have left some space uh, while starting the paragraph so this space is called indent so you might know it or you can check it so that space left before the first alphabet is called indent so the same concept is applied here the word indent means the same thing here so the topmost level product has no indentation so in this case we are discussing the same example so the topmost level product is the pc assembly so there is no indentation here then in this case there is a dot but we could have something different as well so you can assume this dot to be one indent one tab something like tab that you use in microsoft word so we have used one tab so this clearly shows that pc has screen as one of its components now this blank has two dots two dots so this clearly shows that this blank uh, is a component of screen and this casing also has two dots so that shows that casing is also a component of screen so this is important because practically this bill of material is more commonly used for big assemblies so we can say that this pc at first level has a screen one dot another component that has one dot or one indent is casing then we have the keyboard has one indent and then we have cover as one indent so this pc assembly has four if i yes i'm missing the hardware kit so actually five uh, sub assemblies so that is screen casing keyboard cover hardware kit but in the case of product tree we could easily visualize it here we cannot visualize it but we have to get an idea with the help of this indent and this screen has two components blank and casing and this keyboard has uh, further two components key kit and uh, keys uh, keyboard and sorry keys kit and blank board this keyboard has these two components now this sideboard has three digits uh, three three dots sorry three tabs or three dots and front board also has three these three so this blank board has these two components so this is the indented bill of material from this these indents or the number of dots or tabs or spacing actually you can get an idea about the parent child relationship or the assembly component relationship uh, between uh, different components so just to reemphasize uh, you can note how each sub assembly and component in the bill of material are indented from the left indicating the level each component occupies in the product structure so level 1 item a 123200 so again in this case we are having alphanumeric coding so that is the screen is indented with one period or dot from the left level 2 items are indented with two periods from the left and so on so you could notice that in this case uh, there is alphanumeric coding but there are two alphabets somewhere there is one sometimes there are three so i don't know the details of this specific example but uh, each code is unique so this is the in indented bill of material that is more commonly used in uh, in practice